I am back with more Forsaken World. In the last episode, I woke up. I guess I kind of like took a nap in the middle of a fight. Yeah, I was like, oh, uh, there's some people fighting and uh, I, I, I'm I, gonna take a nap. And I probably laid down in like a haystack or something and probably this haystack right over here and I decided to take a nap. But yeah, there was a, w there was a battle last episode and um, I helped with some of the wounded soldiers. And now we're about to talk to Lady Westry, who's not called Lady Westpa, although as I, I keep calling her that. Lady Westry and oh, the Zodiac. The Zodiac Killer strikes again. The legend of Yurla. Yur, Yur, Yurla. Take all. Let's see what the hell this is. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what the fuck? Uh. B for bag. We have this, which is right click to read. Cost one wicker. Okay. Oh god, we have a lot of reading to do. Okay, I'm gonna read this. So, you can fast forward if you don't wanna hear this. Millennia ago, there were three main lands in Yerda. Nord in, in the north, Centura in the east, and Orste in the west. Wait, nothing in the south? That's discriminative. In western Orst, there grows a huge tree and the wheel of heaven sits atop top of it, holding all the stars in the sky. The gods call the gall, the gods call the tree Anus. That's not what it says, but that's what I say. Meaning tree of the ass of the world. The world of the wheel of heavens is also known as Krishnama. Meaning miracle. Stop swinging your sword around, doofus. Uh, Yoda was ruled by three... You know what? I don't want to read this. That's too much for to read. I might do this off camera, but uh, you can pause the video and read this if you want. Here's page one. Page two. Page three. I don't even have to pause myself. I mean, just figure out. Pa page four. Okay, so yeah, read this. We got that. No, I wanna... Seriously? It's, it's just gonna... Stay here and take up space? Huh. Anyway. Let's talk to Lady Westry. Oh. Yo, lady. What up? Uh... Disrupted spirit. Oh. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm not supposed to talk to him. I'm supposed to talk to Adam. That's right. Adam. Captain Walt. This is Walt Disney in his young, when he was young. Wait, what's this guy doing over here? Did he throw something? Teleporter Gordon. Oh, that would be, that's like the most awesome job ever. So what do you do? I'm a teleporter, and I got a horse. Do that thing again. You did something. I saw it from the, from a distance. Oh, screw you then. Hate you. And he did it as soon as I walked away. Yeah, that guy don't like me. Hey, Adam. Son of God. Or oh, man. Whatever. Okay. Mikilium. I've just received news from one of our scouts about the whereabouts of Lord Porter. He's being held in a farmhouse northeast of the encampment. I've sent a scout here there to keep an eye on, him, on them. When you reach him, I'll take you to... Uh, He'll take you where to where Lord Porter is being held. Okay, I'm on my way. Cool. So we're gonna find Lord Porter. Uh, let's see actually if... Um, I can never remember which button it is for the quest. It's probably Q. Because it's, it seems that there's some other text here. Uh, well, that's the same text. This one, okay. Now that Lord Porter's whereabouts has been discovered, it's time to launch a rescue. Hurry and rescue Lord Porter. Lord Potter? Hurry, Potter! You're a wizard, Lord Potter. Uh, I think it's this way. I, I, like I said before, I played this earlier. Like, I think it's a couple of years ago I played it last. But I remember stuff. Oh my god, that house is on fire! I didn't start the fire, by the way. Yo. What up? Okay. 
Scarecrow! I'm gonna miss you most of all. Even though I've never spoken to you. Okay, so I'm gonna find a... I think, as far as I remember, he is behind this house. Right here. No, oh, that's a dead guy. I found the dead guy before I found the guard. Oops. My bad. <laughs> oh, he's here. Okay. Night Scout. Well, that's a good thing they... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Wait, what are we looking at? Whoa, I just walked up on this. Okay, it's a good thing your parents named you Scout. Because you're on a Scout. Keep your voice down, or they'll hear us. <gasps> okay, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna crouch. How do I crouch? Wait, that's not crouching. Can I even crouch in this game? That's... I don't know. Um... You must be Mikilium, that's right. You can see my name floating over my head. The Lancet Blood Pact are keeping Lord Potter imprisoned in the front house. We should be able to sneak around and get him. Let's go rescue him! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think there was that teleporter guy just at work here. Search for Lord Potter! Hmm, where could he be? Where could he be? Oh, right. Oh, look at that sweet ass sword. I'm just gonna feel up his ass. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dead guy ass. That's disgusting, by the way. Search for Lord Porno. Okay, what does this say? Can I, oh, Q. Uh, rescue has come too late for Lord Porter. It appears that he attempted to fight his way out of the farmhouse, but was overwhelmed by his captors. All of Aurora County will mourn his passing. I thought I said pissing first, but that wouldn't make sense. Lord Porter was never one to abandon his people, and often spoke, it, spoke of will that would provide for those he... A will. Oh, A will, not will, as in willpower. A, what? Hundred what? Uh, spoke of will that would provide... Why does it keep saying a hundred? Stop giving me a hundred. Unless it's money he cared for. Perhaps he... The will is hidden in his cloak. And I found it. Cool. Uh, complete quest. Talk to Lady Westry. Okay. Are we still level f Oh, shit. Oh, God, that was a big guy. Let's, uh... Go back to Lady Westry with the will. Let's search this place first. Well, this is a shitty house. Wait, is this the house on fire? No, that's a uh, house on fire. Well, I guess if he he hadn't got, gotten out of the house, he was would have died in the fire probably. Hey, <laughs> Lance, these Lancet people are pretty dumb. Just walk right by them. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna drink a bit of my water. Ah, <sighs> well. Too slow. What's up with the the different color flags? Are they having a festival? Well, they might have been. I might have so just before the attack. Like festival of the chicken. The chicken god. Revenge of the chicken god. No, wait. What's the movie title? Oh, if you haven't seen it, you should watch the movie called Poultry Guide. Uh, Night of the Chicken Dead. It's disgusting and super funny. It's a trauma movie, so that should say it all. Lady Westry is really, really tiny. Oh, am I a, am I a giant? Can I change that? Oh, she just spun around. A fallen hero of Aurora County. Lady Westry tries softly. Cry. Okay. Lady Westry takes the will from you. It's a rag with words written in Lord Potter's blood. Ew. It is clear that he has written it hastily. Well, you, you would do that if you're writing with blood. Wiping away some of her tears, Lady Westry begins to read. This. This will, this will state that Lord Potter wants his fortune disrupted among those he adopted. There is also a list of every soldier that died under his command in the Battle of Calais. 
I think that's a real place. I don't know. At the bottom he writes, Please build a tribute to these men. Their names have been forgotten by historians, but they shall never be forgotten in Aurora County. I mean County. Even at the end, he only thought of others. Oh. oh yeah, this is something you get. You get like small stories of what shall be. We're gonna look at that briefly. And uh, this is the... Night encampment, one of four, and you get these different small story potions. The great James Porter, heroes of the Oeste War, is now Lord of, is now the Lord of Aurora County, a place populated by the wi widows and children he rescued after the war had ended. But the peace in Aurora County was shattered when centaurs came to attack it. Lady Lord Porter went missing in the chaos of the first night's battle. Even though the Lionheart champions came to Aurora County's aid, they were too late to save Lord Porter. Cool. I mean, okay. Mikilium, cross these invaders with our fury, driving them from our, driving them from our land. Wait, what? Shouldn't it just say drive them from our land? Um, well maybe this is... Yeah, okay. Do this not just for Lord Porter, but for all of Aurora County. Let me think about it. Now, I shall... Okay, I shall go in peace. No, wait, that was wrong. Uh, the opposite of peace. War. War never changes. And these gods could... Do you, like, go with me or something? Not that I need your help. So, we need to kill Lancet Luders. I think the Luders are, like, the big... big the big... <coughs> Wow, that's a little poggy pig in me. Uh, uh, I go... The Lancet lo looters are like the big guys we saw over here, I think. Okay. Not those guys. Those guys. The guy... Yeah, that is a looter. Okay. My name is Michaelium. You killed my hamster. Prepare to die. Yeah! So we gotta kill 15... Whoa! Wow! <laughs> they respawn fast! Oh god. Uh, let's wait for this. Oh, let's screw it. I'm just gonna... Hit him where it hurts. In the back. Target's too close. Oh. Oh wait. Did those change? I, I think I switched them around by accident. Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> okay, a little fast on the respawn. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. In the middle of the battle, I just stop and watch the lake. That's normal, right? Die! Um, pig face! Oh god. He has only one leg. And one hand. He's this is... And I'm killing him. I feel kind of sorry. And again, not really. Oh, wait. Actually, pretty well done. Look at him. Looks ew, is that a tongue? I think that's a ew Are you scratching your ass? Oh I'm I'm in you. That's actually disgusting. <laughs> Whoa, he flew. Well they all did. Just How many ten more. Ten more Yeah Do this a little faster. <laughs> Die, looter! I'll teach you not to loot stuff. And ooh, yeah, yeah. Feel my sword penetrate your ass, and like it. How many we are? Oh, we only have five left. Come on, yes. Hey, a little too close, dude. Uh, let's see how many of the normal punches. Oh, God. Two. These enemies are not that hard. Hey, I'm level six. I didn't even notice. You you level up really fast in this game. I, well, I guess this is actually a normal rate. I don't really know. 
You level. I play. It feels like I'm playing one game where you level up slow, uh, being of course um, fallen up. That is a, is a really slow leveling time, and I can't even see myself. Caught between two fat guys. Uh, not again. But yeah, in, in all Earth you level up really slow. In this game, you level up super fast. Uh, oh, I'm done. See you later. Sorry for killing all your people. I really like the town. Looks pretty cool. I like the design uh, of this game. It's kind of realistic looking in some ways. Uh, like, look at the features of his face. They're really... Really detailed, but it's kind of cartoony at the same uh, time. I like actually the bright colors. Other people wouldn't like that. It's like, oh, bright colors. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they say. Um, I've seen. I never played World of Warcraft, but I've seen some of it. And that game has. I think those are too bright colors. I think those colors are too bright. That's what I'm trying to say. Um. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's exactly the same as this. But let's go... Talk to Lady Westry. I think actually after this, uh, the main quest of... Uh, it takes me... to another area. So I think I'm gonna s uh, do, like, the side quest now. Look at that dog. It's really... I think it's sick. <laughs> Look at it! Oh my god! I didn't even see it from the front last time. Oh god. A hundred. Why do I keep getting hundreds? Oh god, that guy looks just like me. Look at it, we could be twins. Well... He chose the more feminine face. Oh wait, is, this, is it the same face? It might be actually be... Whoa! He just changed color. Revenge! You have done well, Michaelium. Lord Potter's death has been avenged. Lady Westry, it is time I joined the army. I understand, McKillian. You have been in Aurora County for your, your entire life. You've helped us protect us and slept in haystacks, and have proved to me that you are stronger fight, strong fighter. I can't read. It is time for the world to see your skill, and for Aurora County to feel safer, knowing they have another champion in the world. Thank you, Lady Westry. Okay. Michaelium, if you want to join the army, you should consider applying for the Lionheart Champions. They have been a major force pushing back the Storm Legion. Talk to Sergeant Adam for some advice on how to join them. Okay. But first, let's do her other quest. Uh, you may not know this, Michaelium, but I wasn't born in Aurora County. What? I feel betrayed now. I, I, I can't accept that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> my husband was a soldier under Lord Porter during the War of Oyster. He was killed in battle, and I was left alone with our two-year-old son, Jerry. When the war was over, Lord Porter found us and brought us here. He gave us a home and asked me to oversee his farm, and I've been loyal to him ever since. What happened next? Shortly after we arrived here, Lord Potter brought another war widow to live with us. Her name was Eva. Ooh, Adam and Eve. He tried, <laughs> he tried to cheer her up and get her involved on the farm. But she was always very quiet and distant. One night I heard horrible sounds coming from her cottage. So I ran to her, terrified that something was wrong. When I opened her door, I found her with blood-stained hand and bloodshot eyes standing over a ritual symbol that she had carved into a stone floor. There was bloody shoe in the middle of it. What happened then? I was terrified. I thought Eva was possessed by an evil spirit. I wanted to help her to snap out of it a uh, possessed stare. I grabbed her, pulling her gaze from the shoe. I shook her. She started beating me, screaming that I had ruined everything, that breaking her gaze had killed her husband. She was trying to bring him back from the dead. She was ready to kill me. Lady Vestry visibly trembled. No, she doesn't. I, I, I can see her. And she doesn't. Okay. Suddenly, she stopped hitting me. And glanced. Look in her eyes. I just fell to the ground. She was dead. And she did that. 
for a while. Uh, he died. Uh, Lord, Lord Porter heard heard our screams. By the time he reached her cottage, Eva was already dead. He examined her corpse and strange symbol, and the strange symbol he had she had carved into the ground. He told me that if the symbol was an ancient, that the symbol was an ancient form of necromancy, and that Eva must have thought it would bring back her husband. She would have needed a sacrifice and something that belonged to him, or was a gift for him, from him. He believed the shoe to be just that, and when her gaze was broken, the power of the spell had taken her spirit instead of returning her husband. S husbands. He never said it, but I know Eva's death was my fault. I killed her, and last night I saw her soul. Ooh, Zodiac. Uh, please, Mikilium, go visit her grave to the north of the encampment. Something must be wrong. I am on my way. Ghosts? Pass. No, I'm on my way. Cool. There's a lot of reading in this. I hope that's okay. I hope people are okay with reading. Ooh, we have a skill book. And a oh yeah, I never understood what the hell the seed of twilight does. If anybody who played this game know it, please let me know. Let's read the skill book. Uh, yeah. yeah, we now got a skill, which I should probably put down here. Skills, skills, skill. Bash, assault, pray. I think this uh, basically, yeah, restores some mana. Eh. What else we have? Okay. Didn't have to turn down the thing. Mm. Ooh, yes, we're gonna have this. Walk and run. I like that. Let's uh, try it out. Eight. Look at this. Ooh, yes. You can walk in this game. I love the ability to walk in games. I don't know why. Just seem, I don't know, more. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a grave. Wait. Whoa. Okay, I'm praying right now. Okay, let's. Uh, well, let's run. We are in a crisis, you know. So we're gonna find a grave. I have no idea what this grave is. I think it's this way. I'm probably wrong. But we'll figure it out. Oh wait, there's something glittering over here. I think that... Yeah, hey, okay, here. We, are, we were... I were right. Was right. Grave robbery. It's awesome. Let's see what the the quest lock sets. Not that one. This one. Return to the oh. Sixteen. Da, da, to a horror. Eva's soul appeared last night. Bloodstained shoe. Return to the encampment and show Lady Westry what you have found. They found a bloodstained shoe. <gasps> this is spooky. I don't like it. I'm scared. Hey, watch it, Walt. You put out somebody's eye with that. You could probably do more. Teleporter Gordon and his horse. Come on, do your trick. I dare you. Can I go first person? Yes, I can. But I prefer not to. Come on. Whoa. What are you, Thor? <laughs> He believes he's Thor. What a loser. For those of you who don't know, Thor from the Marvel Comics, when transforming from his alias as Donald Blake, he has to tap his, well, cane in the ground, and then to turn back, he has to turn to. He has to tap his hammer into the ground. Little known fact, unless, of course, you read the comics. And it's a very known fact. This is the shoe Eva used to try to bring back her husband. I had buried it with her, for I respect her deep love for her husband. But if her grave was defiled, we have to burn it, and quickly. If her soul is to find peace, find the Lionheart ca champion's 
campfire to the south and burn the shoe, or her soul will be lost forever. You have five minutes. Oh my god, is it timed? I think, is this south? No, this is north. Oh, wait, no, this is south. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have to find a fire? Fire, fire, fire! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, burn the shoe! Burn the shoe! Burn the shoe. Wait, what do I do now? Do I have to go into my bag? Oh god, this is... This is really... Frustrating. Igniting. Yes. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, this is boogie. This is not scary or anything. Ooh, cool. Oh, we have another side quest right here. Look at these tents first. These are pretty nice. Can I go into them? No. Anybody in there naked? No. Damn it! That's what I always search for in tents. Naked people. Not really. I grew up around here. These woods are filled with many mem with so many memories. Aw, tell me about it. I haven't been in Aurora County for about 20 years. I nearly forgot how much I missed this place. It hasn't changed a bit, well aside from the attacks. I used to play with a girl named Linda. Yeah, play. Wink, wink. Uh, out in the southern wood when we were young. I last saw her when our family left Aurora County because of the War of Oist. All I have left uh, here are memories. Please, Michelium, I need you to find something for me. When I was a boy, I made a puppet for Linda. We hid it under a giant rock in the forest, woeing to retrieve it when we were adults. I can't leave my post, will you bring it to me? Yeah, no problem. So this is probably uh, an easy quest. And really doesn't, so that's pretty cool. I like that these, there's a lot of backstory to this. Um, I think I'm going the right way, right? I think it's this way. Although I might be wrong. Uh, definitely wrong. It's at the southern forest also, so maybe I should go south. That might make more sense. But yeah, I like uh, how there's a lot of backstory to this. Makes it feel very much like, uh, I don't know, a story. A world. Okay. We need to find a, a rock. This is a rock. Not Iraq, but a rock. But I don't think that was the rock. It'll probably be like sparkling or something. We got some boars. What a boar. <laughs> um, rock. 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 Is this the southern woods? Does it say? Yes, yeah, southern woods. So we should be. Oh, sorry, Mr. Boar. Oh, that boar is climbing a tr tree. Boars can't climb trees. Get down from there. Rock. Oh, wait, we have something. We have a rock. <laughs> Undisturbed for ages. <laughs> Ex excavating. Did I get it? Simon's puppet. Alright. Go find. Yeah, okay, so cool. We found Simon's puppet. <laughs> it's a good thing that uh, I, as a big hero, can find time to f search for someone's puppet. And I think, uh, as far as I know, we only have like one quest left. One side quest. No, actually, we have. Uh, I think we have two because Adam had one also. And after those quests, I will probably end this video. First, the second video, and we still haven't re left the first area. Oh my god, I did not notice that tower. That tower is fucking awesome. We have to see if I can actually get up into that tower. Because that would be sweet. Right, Simon? You chipmunk. Simon gently runs his hand over the puppet. Ew. 
I have I have expected it to be gone since so much time has passed. I wonder how Linda is now, if she is married, if she has children. Thank you, McKillian, for bringing it back to me. You're welcome. Now this... Oh, wait. I'm level 8? Seriously? I didn't even notice being level 7. <laughs> huh. I haven't even left the first area and I'm already level 8. It's kind of weird. Would be fun if we meet uh, that girl, Linda. I have to remember her name, Linda. So... What the... Poop? I think we have a prostitute here. But that's okay. If she wants to be a prostitute, let her be a prostitute. Right, Tavern Consort Katie? Don't forget to stop by Charlie's Tavern for good drinks. Good company. Oh god, more prostitution and maybe more. Yeah, maybe more. Head on down to the quay to find it, okay? Priced patch of pumpkins. My contact in Freedom Harbor needs several fresh Aurora County pumpkins for her new experimental candy. <laughs> Sounds awesome. However, the Lancet Blood Pact is keeping me from picking the pumpkins that we have grown. Can you help me harvest a few pumpkins? You will be rewarded if you do so. Whatever you need me to do. Okay, this will gonna <laughs> this one is easy. Uh, harvest pumpkins. The great hero then harvested pumpkins and found puppets. Well, that is what a great hero does. Little known fact. So, I think, yeah, here's the pu pumpkin. How many? Three. And there is, well, there's more than three. I think I can actually just harvest the same one over and over. But I'm not going to do that because that is cheap. Fresh pumpkin. Yeah, I could just actually do it. That's kind of stupid. At least make it so that you should be walking through for pumpkins to from pumpkin to pumpkin. Like this. Nice. Wow. Tough quest. How ever did I do it without dying? That house is still on fire. Knights encampment. Captain Walt walked forever the streets of the night encampment. No friends, no family, no lover. He was doomed to live a life alone. Just him and his axe. Well, hello, 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 Wait, that's a fish, right? Oh shit! Watch it! Walt. Wait. I heard a weird sound. And then... I talked to the caddy again. Thank you so much, McKillium. Here, take this as a reward. Thank you. What did I get? Experience? Wow. Okay, so... Let's go talk to... Lionhead Sergeant Adam. And let's take this one first, Night Story. You might learn a thing or two from one of the tomes over by the wooden box behind you. They're full of historical facts about the Lionheart Champions. Thank you for reminding me. What do you mean reminding? We never talked about this before. Lame. Okay. Uh, uh. Yeah. Did I learn anything? I guess if we go... How do you... There's a book somewhere. Um, Winter Heights. Um, I already learned this. What did I learn? Oh wait, is it in my inventory? Oh, sorry. Warrior's Arbor and Warrior's Arbor. Oh, I got two of them. Add! You. Okay. Winter Heights, one of four. Following the War of Oyster, in order to resist the guerrilla assault attempted by the residual Storm Legion forces, the leaders of the human, dwarven, elven, and kindred races allied themselves to create the Lionheart Champions. Now, after 16 years, the Storm Legion has 
renewed their assault, this time in Aurora County. A sizable force of wild Kentaurs leading a contingent of Lancet Blood Pact has encountered a small force of Lionhead champions who has established a perimeter defense to fight off the centaur. Okay, cool. Now let's get rid of this one. Can I not just get rid of it? Confirm. Didn't mean to get two of them anyway. Okay, cool. So now there's only this one quest left. And as far as I remember, it actually still has a little bit to do with this quest that I'm doing currently. So let's continue for a bit more. McKillium, when things settle down here, you and I shall discuss this at length. I always need more soldiers like you around, even when I twirl my head. It won't be that difficult to join the Lionheart champions with the Storm Legion trying to retake Oist. Oist? I don't know. And the fact that we are short on manpower. We are recruiting anyone who is capable in battle. Who c you just need to pass one last test. Seek out two Lancet captains. They seem to be handing out orders to the north of the encampment. Kill them and bring me their armbands. Armbands? Okay. Why not their heads? As proof that you have defeated them. For the glory of the Lionheart champions, once you have done so, you can join our ranks. No problem. Let's go kill two Lancet captains. Yeah. Look at the sky. Whoa. Look at that planet. The Lancet Captains, I saw some blue guys, I think those are the Lancet Captains, right over here. Can't see them yet. Oh, there's one here. You can see that guy right there. Oh, that's a Lancet, wait, that's a Lancet Swordsman. Uh, oh, that's a Lancet Swordsman, okay. The Viking dude, okay, let's uh, do a assault attack, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, okay, this guy actually takes some, uh, Hit some beating. Ah, yeah. All right. One down. Two to go. Wait. One to go. Hey. Yeah. I'm too close. Never mind. I'll just do this. It's not like he's a. He, it takes long, but he's not a real threat. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Look at his Freddy Krueger hand or Wolverine hand. More. Look at that. Pretty cool. So, <laughs> wow, tough. Well, this is kind of like a tutorial still, even though I am level 8. But I think, uh, of course, as, f as further you get in ranks, the, the longer it takes for you to advance to the next level. Captain's armband. Uh, armband, really? I don't know. Sounds kind of, I don't know. Childish armbands. Maybe that's just me. Sergeant Adam, I bring you armbands. These are friendship bands. We shall keep one each and be friends forever. BFFs. Best fucking friends. And I didn't mean that in the literal statement. Excellent work, McKellium. With the captains out of the way, and confusion setting in amongst our sol the soldiers in the Lancet Blood Pact. We shall soon drive them from our lands. Okay. And I'm level 9. Oh my god. Two videos. And I'm already level 9. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you as a member of the Lionheart Champions. That was easy. However, you will truly be a champion when you meet with the General in Freedom Harbor. The Lancet Blood Pact forces are beginning to dismantle here. So our forces here should be enough to drown them out. Go find Captain Heat. He'll uh, begin your orders now. He will need your strength to help his forces drive out the vile centaurs that ravages that has ravaged this land. You should say goodbye before you go. Once you leave, your future quests may make it difficult for you to return, if it's even possible. That you, you may have never returned. Okay, I'm on my way. So, can I say goodbye? Yes, I can. Ooh. To the beautiful and very short Lady Westbound.
which is not called Lady Wespa. It's Lady Westry. Look at her. She's tiny. Yeah, kissing some invisible guy. Hey, whoa, was that keys? Are you giving me your keys to your, your, your chastity belt? Awesome. Uh, goodbye, my lady. You're leaving? I knew this would happen, but I was hoping you'd stay a little longer. Oh yeah, she wants me. But don't worry about us, Michelium. With Sergeant Adam's help, I'll make this county flourish again. Even though Lady po Lord Potter, lady, Lord Potter has passed away, go forth and find Oyster Mich Michelium. Fight to bring us peace, and remember Aurora County. We'll always <laughs> welcome you back. Oh, uh, I buried Lord Potter in the Riverside Garden to the northeast. You should go pay tribute to it. Oh, I just cut her in half uh, at his tomb before you leave. <laughs> and she just brushes off the blood after I cut her in half. Take this ale with you, for it was his favorite. Goodbye, Lady Westry. My love, you will forever be in my heart. Anyway, let's get out of this hellhole. Okay, we're going to go to that guy's grave, Lord Porter's grave, and then I will end the video. That's right, I'll end the video after we go to Lord Porter's grave. Lord Porter, and we bring him a Porter. <laughs> ah, mm. Cold flame ale. I think it's this way. As far as I remember from playing this previously. Look at that face down there. It's kind of scary. Oh, just ran through a pumpkin. I, I don't like the pumpkins being that red. I don't think they're healthy. Okay, almost there. I think it's this way. Look at a guy who can barely walk. Go home! You're drunk. Oh shit! Okay, here it is. Look at these beautiful flowers. And butterflies! <gasps> oh, butterflies! Butterflies! Lord Porter's tomb. The tomb of James Porter. The hero of Aurora County. Aurora fainting. Paying tribute. You place the cold flame ale in front of Lord Porter's tomb. Lady Westbury has an epitaph engraved to Lord Porter. Here lies James Porter, the hero of Aurora County. <laughs> what? What did I just say? The hero of Aurora County. <laughs> The base of the tombstone is engraved with all the names that were listed in his will. A small epitaph is engraved for them. Heroes, you will never be forgotten. Rest well, for your journey has earned your peace. That's actually pretty nice. Goodbye, Lord Porter. You old dog. <coughs> okay, now I will, by the grave of Lord Porter, end this episode. Look at me. I'm, gonna, I'm a hero. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time as we go talk to Captain Head. Bye.